Ken Trahan with the maestro himself at his own ballpark, Maestri Field. First NBC ballpark, Maestri Field. Ron Maestri, the architect of the University of New Orleans privateer program of many years. I think that's a suitable introduction of many years rather than going into the particulars, right? Too many years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's great to get it going again. It's, it seems like it was just yesterday, the end of the season. But uh, if we could get this kind of weather when we play, it'll be all right. You had your competitive juices flowing prior to last season. Losing sets in makes it difficult, probably makes you wonder, why did I do this? Well, the answer is, you're a year down the road, you got a better team, and the lights are a little bit brighter, right? Well, we knew what we had coming in. You know, when I came in here last year, I wasn't delusional. Uh, I had seen, you know, them play and everything. So we knew that we had to get some players, and uh, we brought a few more in. And it's it's going to be a process. Uh, it's a little different than when I was coaching back then. There's more quality teams. Everybody down here has got a good program. They've got good young coaches. And so, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a building process, and uh, – I know we're better, how much that translates into W's because we're playing everybody. I said, if we're going to play, you know, we're starting over at South Alabama for a three-game set. We go to Southern Miss. We got Tulane, LSU, uh, USL, uh, ULL. So, but that's the name of the game, play people. Yeah. Well, get your RPI up anyway, right? Oh, you hope so. <laughs> Especially if you win a few, yeah. <laughs> like you did last year in Lafayette when you had a memorable win. Yeah, that was a great win. You go over there. But, uh, you know, last year every win was a good win. There were many. <laughs> but I should be governor because we the only won seven the year before. You know, we won 11 last year. But we were in the ball game, so we are competitive. Uh, I didn't know. I knew what to expect as far as the talent that we had. But we competed hard. Um, you know, we lose 11, uh, 22 games by less than two runs, two runs or less. So, you know, we're going down the, the, the last uh, three or four series, and we're playing Nichols and Southeastern and Northwestern, and they're all, they're all bunched at the top, and we're losing, losing two to one, three to two. So our kids competed, and uh, that's all you can ask. Your pitching's better. You have more pitching, deeper pitching, harder throwers overall. Talk about that. Well, the pitching, we have experience. Uh, we lost a couple of kids mis midterm that killed us that were really going to help us. But uh, we do have. We, uh, we've we got a freshman, uh, Sean Simple, in fact. He's going to get a start tomorrow, um, Saturday uh, from New Jersey, and he's going to be a good pitcher for us. And uh, But he's a freshman. We do have a closer that throws very hard. I mean, there's been a lot, a lot of scouts out here. Uh, Kevin Kelleher, uh, junior college transfer, and he's he's got a great arm. So we're a little bit better there. I think uh, you know you, when you're in those tight ball games, uh, two to one, you know when we're coming down, you you got to have somebody that could close it out if you get on top. And I think we do have, from what I've seen so far, we've got somebody to do that. When you look at your position players, obviously didn't hit the way you wanted to hit last year. Let's start with the balls first. What precipitous difference do you see based upon how these balls are carrying the flight of the balls, and how much of a difference do you think they will make? Well, we had balls in batting practice that Babe Ruth used. You know, it's an economic issue. And yesterday, uh, two days ago, we brought out some of the uh, some of the balls that we'll be using this year, and there was a notice, noticeably uh, yeah, a difference. But... I don't. It's. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. If they say it goes 20 feet more, you still got to barrel it up. Last year, it it was almost ridiculous, and particularly when you play out at this ballpark, early what early half of the year where the wind's blowing in. I mean, you got the outfielders playing. It looks like deep short, mm -hmm. and uh, the ball goes nowhere. And uh, and maybe in a to some extent that helped us last year. Um, when you're not hitting, uh, you play decent defense and you get a little bit of pitching, you should be in the ball game. So um, I, it'll help us. Uh, you still have to have the people that can swing it. Invariably, whether the balls are alive, the bats are alive, you watch the good hitters, they hit. The poor hitters don't hit. It doesn't matter what kind of ball. It doesn't matter what kind of bat. So uh, we brought some people in I think will help us offensively. 
Well, you have a young man in uh, Sammy Capilano, of course, from Holy Cross, who played well for you last year, who's back. Uh, it's Kai Randolph, obviously good ball player. You have better overall talent in your everyday positions, and your outfield seems to be a strength. Well, we have people that can go get the ball in the outfield. Uh, we brought in uh, Ryan Callaway that, that can fly. And, uh, you know, I call uh, Chaz Boer Hoover. You know, he's like the vacuum cleaner. I mean, he, he can run down there. He's a great defensive outfield. Hez is a good outfielder uh, in right field, doesn't have their kind of speed. But we got Dane Landry can run. We got Mitchell Alexander that can run. I think the infield is where we really helped ourselves. Uh, Sam Carey ate it, played at Dutch Johan and played at uh, Eunice, uh, transferred from ULL. He's at third. Of course, Sammy's at short. We got Ray Vite to play to Rommel, play to Eunice, and then we have uh, uh, Jay Robinson, a freshman from uh, Tallahassee, uh, that's really going to help us. And then Preston Marsh was at uh, New Mexico Junior College and hit four something for us. And he's got the ability, to, uh, he'll hit our fourth hole for us. So I think we're, I don't think, I know. We're 200 percent better defensively and offensively in the infield than we were last year. Now, how that translates to W's and L's, we'll have to see. Southland Conference, they picked you last. You're fine with that. It's all good, and there's only one way to go, and that's up. I told them, no, I'm not fine with it. Uh, you know, I never thought I'd see UNO. You know, pick last, and uh, uh, but it is what it is. And uh, uh, I told the guys, I said, if you're a last place team. Then I'm uh, Jackie Gleason. So, uh, you know, we got to come out and prove that we're not. And I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm encouraged. They've worked hard. They've really worked hard. And I, I've got guys like Sam Capiano and uh, you got uh, Hez and those guys that were freshmen that had great years. They're, they're a leader now. They should be a leader. They're a sophomore. They can talk to the guys that are coming into the program what it was like. I didn't really have a good feel. I knew the Southland. We had always played those schools, uh, Nichols and Southeastern, and they were always competitive. Uh, but they've stepped up a notch in their programs, uh, Northwestern and McNeese. Good programs, good coaches. The facilities are improved. So, um, yeah, uh, we picked last, and uh, we can't go any lower. That's for darn sure. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a run. We're gonna uh, hopefully we can fool some people. And of course, when you mentioned Jackie Gleason, you got a bunch of blank stares. They have no idea who you're no, talking about. No, it's like if I mentioned Ted Williams, they wouldn't know who. Yeah, Babe yeah. Ruth, uh, man, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Final, Final, I said Kenny Trey, and they know you yeah, though. Of course, yeah, naturally. Yeah. yeah. Final thought. We asked you this at the press conference over a year ago, and. A year down the road, you had a good answer then. Why did you come back? If you could answer the same question now and, and how you feel a year down the road, your answer would be? I, I came back because uh, I wasn't, uh, this wasn't what I had in mind, but I was asked to come and help. And uh, it's been a, a little bit bigger challenge than I thought it would be to the extent that, uh, you know, I didn't expect a lot of money and uh, there's not a whole lot, but we've raised. Uh, I've been very fortunate. There's been people in the community and a lot of our former players have really stepped up financially that have enabled us to buy things out here. I mean, we're buying everything, the protective screens, just, and it's coming out of people that are helping us. We had to get the schedule. The schedule was, uh, Blake's done a great job. Uh, we had to get the integrity of this schedule. I mean, people were coming in and we were supposed to go back and we didn't go back. and. Uh, we've got that solved. We got our schedule this year. Blake's already got next year's done. So, uh, and raise money. Uh, you saw the parking lots redone. Yep. Uh, raised 110. A paved grand. parking lot. We actually got you UNO. So yeah. it's, 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 it's a plus. <laughs> and, you know, they didn't have to spend a dime. That was all donated money. But it looks nice. It adds to what we're trying to do. And uh, so there's a lot of good things happening. Mace, always a pleasure. It's great to have another season upon us. Look forward to seeing you at your ballpark, my friend. Best of luck to you. God bless you. Thanks, Ken. You know, maybe I could be one, on one of your other 10 shows. Yeah, well, how about, well, how about we do radio tonight? We can do that. About 13, actually. It's a lucky number, man. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny.